Hi guys and welcome back to Empire Total War Darth Mod as the Ottomans. Last time the Austrians decided to attack us and we marched into Persia. Now I don't think there's anything left for us to do in this turn. We are waiting it out here with our glorious organ guns that were very very fun to use last time. So uh, we're going to keep on going with that. We may also be able to recruit some proper units down here sometime soon as well because I believe in this army over here we do have 18 pounders, two 18 pounders but some demi cannons as well so I want to replace those demi cannons with some 18 pounders. I'd also like to be able to retrain some of these boys um, as well or get some better units shall we say. We're also going to wait up here for a little bit. It looks like the Persians have a couple of pretty large armies um, around. They're not that strong and we are retraining this army which is fantastic. So I think for now let's press the end turn and let's see where we get to. And unfortunately the goddamn Persians have attacked Georgia which is not ideal. I think we will fight this however um, just to try and do as much damage as possible. A bit annoying that they've come for Georgia when they could be trying to retake Azerbaijan so... Oh well, um, but yeah, that's fine. We're just going to have to march back this way, which is going to be painful for our expansion plan. So let's get into this battle. We might be able to kill quite a few with canister shot. Let's see if we have some pretty nice defensive ground. So let's see. Well, the one good thing, of course, is the fact that we are in a fort, but it is pretty darn broken from our assault on the fort. So Gonna stick the cannons there. They can come through this way, but I'm hoping they'll either come through that way or that way. And we'll be able to destroy them with canister shot. Now, in terms of the rest of them, we're gonna stick you guys in there. We're also gonna stick the Azars in there. And we're gonna stick these guys in here. And it's pretty much just a grind <laughs> to try and see um, how long we can last. But let's go. Well, here we go, guys. They are beginning to come through the gates. So I'm going to fire there. I don't think it's going to do too much damage to them because they're not quite in the range yet. But there we go. I killed a couple of men, it looks like, which is pretty good. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this, but you never know, guys. You never know on this game especially. You do never know when the enemy is going to go crazy and just completely rout, especially in defensive siege battles. They do have uh, some cannons themselves. Now, getting flanked is not going to be very good. I don't know what they're doing. Are they going to come through the walls? Please come through the walls, guys. We've got something waiting for you that I would like you to uh, take to the face. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. Fighting inside the fort. Uh, a lot of them want to get on the walls, which is fine by me. I don't think we can really actually hit there. It looks like we're actually killing our own men by doing so. So we're just going to fire there and hopefully maybe catch a couple of them. Oh no, here comes some Kurdish Hillmen. Let's kill them instead. Fire at them, men. We might not have even got any shots off by the time they come. We're going to just speed this up, though. Fire at them. Come on, men. Fire at them. Fire at them, men. There we go. That's better. And it wasn't the greatest shot, was it? Uh, let's fire there. Let's see whether that will work. I mean, they've ignored these guys, but that's fine. We are just getting overrun now. Apparently only 56 seconds until we lose. Uh, but there go the guys. Get back on the cannons, men. Back on the cannons. <laughs> well, a bit of a disaster, but it's not too bad. We've killed a few men for free, uh, which is never, never awful. So, uh, a defeat. Oh, wait. Apparently eight, it's stuck on eight seconds. But, um, yeah, we will have killed a few men during this. You can see there's quite a, a little bit of damage. Oh, we're starting to lag a little bit. Oh. There we go. But there we go. I think that is defeat, my friends, unfortunately. Although they don't have anyone on the town square. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> don't think we could have really done much else here. Looks like these guys are going to rout now. Get fighting, my friends. Get fighting. Doesn't like this amount of uh, troops. Go on, boys. Fight them. <laughs> Come on, boys. Ah, Unfortunate, unfortunate defeat. But I'm sure we will have killed quite a few men. See, we killed 384, which is actually not too bad, honestly. I mean, it's, it's definitely helpful. That's the main thing. Oh, wow. And Venice has landed a pretty large force, too. Um, 
Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Losing ground all over the place, my friends. Well, let's start on start on this as well. Um, again, we're not going to be able to kill them. But uh, I think, honestly, let's just auto-resolve that. 623, that's probably more than we could have done. So that's fine. So we do have a bit of an army left in Morea. So we're going to get that going. We're also going to start recruiting again in the, uh, in the capital. I think we're going to go, I mean, one turn for the 18 pounder foot is pretty good. We're going to get a couple of Janissaries with that too and a couple of Israelis. And I think we can go then to march and take back Athens off those fools. Now, I'm wondering if we attack here, will that bring in this army as well? The, the thing is, they don't have that much of an army, but obviously the capital is going to have so many troops. And this army is okay. It needs one more turn to retrain, though. I'm wondering whether that's worth doing maybe it would also be worth popping in a cannon there just so that we're okay and we don't lose more ground because god damn it <laughs> they, they just decided to go around everything which is fine i mean it's not it's not terrible um this army is pretty darn good though let's uh, upgrade that there while we can could go and kill that army i think that is the option we have um, you know, a pretty decent force here, even though it needs retraining. So there we go. What is this? We've got Zamedi horsemen. They've got a lot of dervishes, which of course we need to be careful of because melee infantry is pretty darn good in this game. But let's get on the attack now, guys. Let's stop losing territory and get on the attack. Well, here we go, guys. We're going to get our cannons set up on top of this hill. There is a little bit of a uh, lump there, as you can see. But I think if we can get our cannons nicely set up here, we should be able to fire down on them quite okay. I think we can fire over that lump quite nicely. So I'm going to get them set up there. We're also going to move our men forward. I do not think these guys will have canister shot yet as well, which will be very good for us. So we do need to be wary of that, but I don't think they'll have canister shot. So that's going to be one thing that's going to be fantastic for us. I think it's time to get running, guys. Looks like they are sending their Zimadini, Zima, uh, Zimin, <laughs> Zimindari uh, cavalry forward. I need to get my general closer to the line here. But looks like we're going to take some good shots at them. Come on, boys. I love the musket sounds in this. So good. Oh, they're getting absolutely shredded. Look at that by the cannon. The cannons. Fantastic. Let's fire at the dervishes. We don't want them doing anything crazy we've got our desert infantry now in the action too they've got to fire at the dervishes hopefully break them before they get to the lines because like the melee infantry is so strong so we do have to be kind of careful looks like we've broken their center there quite well we do now have plug bayonets too which is absolutely fantastic so got to carry on with that these guys can 100 percent get cannons to shot on same as you boys let's get some cannons to shot Start firing into them. That should absolutely shred them. Going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. How about you boys? What can we do here? We have some Afghan hillmen that actually have a really good range there. But that's okay. That's no problem. Also going to bring these guys around this way so that we can start flanking. And we're going to hold the center here. Obviously, the dervishes are going to be quite difficult to beat. So uh, let's uh, not shoot our own men with canister shot shoot at the pikemen here you guys can keep kind of shot on actually what do we have more dervishes on the way not ideal but that's okay it will flank them if necessary have more hillmen over here come on camels you're a little bit slow aren't you come on the boys let's go get moving my friends right we're gonna have to ungroup them to do that there we go straight in the fight we'll group them back up again after that good we are starting now to beat them back Glorious. You guys get back onto normal shot and we'll fire at the archers. The archer horsemen. You guys can actually start coming around this way if you want to. Fantastic. And we're going to keep on firing. Keep on firing, my friends. There go the cavalry. Glorious. Glorious. Kill the dervishes. Kill them all, my friends. Kill them all. And then I think it's, it's one big charge with the cavalry. And we'll be good, honestly, in this. Are you guys still on... Uh, normal round shot you are fantastic oh look at that some glorious shots coming in for the boys oh that is what we like to see keep going 
Right, who's left? Just the cannons. I think it's just the cannons and some camel gunners. Okay, no problem. Fire at the camel gunners. Come on, boys. I just love artillery in these games in Napoleon. And um, in Napoleon and Empire, it's so fun to use. Let's ungroup these boys once again. There we go. You're firing at the wrong people, man. <laughs> Let's get, the, uh, get into square formation. I don't think it's as powerful an empire, is it, as Napoleon? Oh, we did take out a few of our own men there. Yeah, it's definitely not as powerful in uh, empire as Napoleon. But it should still work against them, hopefully. We shall see. There goes the horseman. Going for a, a last-ditch charge, honestly. But that's no problem. Good. Shoot these guys. Come on. I think you guys can uh, get cannons to shot. No point losing cannons at the last moment, even if it means losing some of our Israelis. But there they go. Who's left, then? Who is left now? I think it's just a couple of stragglers, isn't it? Some of these desert warriors. The pikemen, too, but uh, I think one little charge against them, and we should be fine. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're at oh my god, we're absolutely shredding these boys. Look at that. Look at that. Even the pikemen are getting absolutely ruined. That's amazing. The camels did an absolutely amazing job there. Well, who's left? Surely we've... Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Glorious victory, my friends. And we only lost 343 and killed 2,000. I think that's a good result. I'm not going to lie. Looks like they are retreating to the, uh, to the city, but that's okay. No problem with that at all. And this guy is now an attacking general, so he is getting better each, uh, each turn, which is fantastic. Um, I honestly think we just need to keep recruiting. Like, that's the main thing. I'm going to get a couple of Janissaries over here because they are fantastic units. Oh, look, they've got another army over there. Hmm. Anything worth recruiting here? Not really, honestly. Anything in Ankara? No, not particularly. Neither over here. What about Baghdad? Anything we can get? We haven't got the next level of Doctrine yet, so that's okay. Uh, anything we can recruit in here? No, just absolute trash. Um, but it looks like we're going to lose Serbia. I just don't think we can go for this attack. Like, I don't think we're strong enough yet. I know we've got some good artillery, but we have no cavalry <laughs> or anything <laughs> like that. So, uh, let's see. Let's also get an 18-pounder there. Would like to upgrade to the military governor's barracks at some point. And we're getting constantly raided by these fools. Um, I mean, we could try and get peace with them. That would be something we could do. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, where are you? I mean, Russia as well. Like, is there any need for us to be at war with Russia? Not really. Quest peace, what do you think? Okay, they, they have signed a peace. That will allow us then... I mean, we've... That was a... It wasn't the, the best war ever. But that's going to allow us to return to deal with Venice. And we will actually go and invade Venice. Look how long it takes. Wow. Uh, we need those roads. I think they have upgraded, though. But we definitely need metalled roads and some technology. Let's just check what technology we are going for. I mean, we are going for the military syllabus. I feel like we're going to be very far ahead of a lot of people in terms of military tech. And that is glorious for us. Um, we do need to start getting onto some of these other techs, though, so we can expand our economy. But that's going to be okay for now. Um, and for now, you are going to come and deal with Athens. Um, hopefully, you'll be retrained, too, by that point. So let's uh, end the turn there, guys. Let's see what happens with Persia and with Athens. And we have another scholar in Moldavia, which is awesome. That is fantastic. Now, where did we stick that extra couple of universities? Kaziri and Aisut. Where's that one? That's all the way in Egypt. And this one's in Ankira. So let's get you all the way over here. All the way to... No. Uh, wait, where's that other one then? Where is Konya? Where's Konya? Konya's there. Where is Kaziri? What? Oh, they're right next to each other. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, you... Oh, it's a little bit of a losing... Wait a second. Why are you going around that way? That's the wrong way, bro. This way. <laughs> Whoops. Let's uh, get rid of some of these messages. I think that's what's causing it to slightly lag. 
Got an Eastern scholar in Egypt. Okay, we've got another one. Good. Well, that's fine. Um, we will remember that. Construction-wise, we now have that in Ankira. Good. We can get proper cannons now, 18-pounders. And same in Baghdad. Oh, fantastic. And in Moldavia, we got a military camp encampment. So I think we spend some money on that to upgrade that one. Uh, and we got a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Fantastic. So let's uh, go to that scholar in Egypt. Let's use him. So where are you? Let's get you into the school. That will definitely help out. We could go and try and steal... Uh, some research as well, but I, I just don't think it's necessary right now. Um, where are you? You are now retrained as well, which is glorious. You're going to go down there. They've kindly left a garrison in these vineyards for us to destroy. So that's fantastic. We do now have an extra cannon in here. So I think we'll join you up there for now. Then we're also retraining training a brand new army. They can potentially join with these guys, but this army is not good. It's just got a very good commander. It's also going to allow us to repair some of these damaged buildings. What did we recruit in here? Two more cannons. Well, I think we'll re-set up a new army in Istanbul uh, and decide where to send it. I mean, ideally, probably Venice is the best option. We could even go into Poland, Lithuania, but... Don't really want to cut across the whole continent and then be at war on both sides. That's probably not the best idea, I've got to say. But uh, let's come across. We are still damaged because of the last battle, but we have retrained a lot of these guys. So let's go here. Let's demand their surrender. And what I kind of would like to do is draw this army in and take a defensive position and just destroy them with our glorious uh, canister shot. So... Let's try that. Let's see if they will um, they will go for it. And I think we also need to start recruiting more of an army there. Let's see what we can do to increase our recruitment capacity. So let's go for the Bayes Mansion. Nothing we can do there. I think we'll save the rest of our money to upgrade all of our barracks next turn once we get the drill square. So uh, uh, let's uh, let's go then, guys. Let's end the turn there. And there we go. We built a governor's barracks in Serbia. So that's going to allow us to actually recruit Israelis there. And Delhi horsemen and Mamluks as well, which are a fantastic cavalry unit. We definitely want some of those for our army. So we're going to get two in there for now. What about over here? No, we can't actually get any more. Now we have carbines and military syllabus, which is absolutely glorious. What we're then going to do, we're going to swap across over this way. I'm going to get Konya, which is our best one to research the exploit. It didn't actually make a difference. I'm going to change you onto Physiocracy. Kaziri, yeah, definitely common land enclosures. Fantastic technology to get. And yes, we got some more troops in Rumelia, etc. Uh, and we got some good traits for our boys in the government. Glorious, you are going down that way. Where else did we recruit? You guys can join up there. So we've got even more cannons. And then let's go for Athens. It doesn't look like uh, across in Georgia we actually got any them to uh, come close because they didn't. Oh, well, let's uh, let's make sure that we do upgrade all of these barracks that we need to. So let's go for that one. Let's go for the drill school here, too. And then with the rest of our money, we're going to continue recruiting and we're going to go for some Israelis in there some standard line infantry although let me just see if we get that can we get normal line infantry you can get janissary grenadiers which is amazing fantastic you can also get janissary musketeers so i do kind of want to wait so instead of that let's get something else so what do we have in this army currently we've got some some israelis some janissaries and two 18-pounders. Let's go for more 18-pounders. Two more. So we'll have four 18-pounders. And we'll also have four Janissaries in that army. And then we'll kind of just wait for Serbian Mamluks to finish training, basically. Um, so let's go for these battles then, guys. Let's go on to this one. And let's demand their surrender. Of course, they're going to refuse. And how many turns? Five turns. But I think we can take it. So... Let's go. We're just going to pound them to death with our organs, <laughs> which is going to be fun as hell. Let's go.
Right then, guys, let's go. I did not unlimber the organ guns because I wasn't sure that they were going to be in range to start with. So uh, let's keep on moving forward then. Let's see if we can uh, take them out quite quickly. Unfortunately, I'm not sure they whether they have canister shot or not, but I think they will do. And of course, we don't have uh, cavalry to deal with them, so that's fine. They look like they might be sending their cavalry against our cannons over here. That's not a problem. Um, we're just going to target, say, the regiment of horse there. It's quite a uh, bumpy little map, so we might be hitting a few bumps. I did think we were maybe high enough just to get them, I think. But you never know, do you? You never know, guys. Let's get the organ guns out, though. They are going to be glorious. It's also here whether... No marching music for these guys because they're irregulars still. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, I can't wait to get some actual proper musket infantry. We might have to start um, disbanding some of these for our extra cash. But the organ guns, they're going to get going. So where are they? Let's see where they fire. Not at the cannons, guys. I want you to fire over there somewhere. Potentially at the militia. Looks like they're going to fire at the cannons, though, maybe. Yeah, they did actually fire at the cannons. That's okay. Looks like they've taken out one of the cannons over here. Two of them, actually. Glorious. Good. Well, uh, organs, let's fire over this way. Fire over this way, guys. Fire over this way. There we go. Glorious. And our lines are coming forward. This is going to be a fun battle. We might lose a few men. Looks like we're getting shot at. I don't know whether by canister shot or not. So we're going to just uh, run forward with the rest of the men. I'm also going to try and send some Janissaries straight through. They're going to take a lot of damage. But if they can take out the cannons, it's going to be glorious. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Here we go, boys. Straight in the action. And these guys are exposed right on the corner there. Organ guns might do a little bit of damage on our own men. But um, <laughs> I think it's worth it in the long run. Honestly, let's fire at these uh, these guys over this way so that we don't kill our own men. Uh, because that's going to be quite bad if we do. These Janissaries, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Charging through. Let's kill those militia. Kill those militia, men. There we go. I love the sound effects. Glorious. Get through the middle, boys. Get through the middle. If they're going for the charge, they are going to face the wrath of the Janissaries. So I don't think that that's going to help them at all. Especially with our plug bayonets now. Or oh, organ guns. Looks like they did a little bit of damage. Not as much as maybe you're expecting, but that's okay. Let's uh, pop those guys there so they get, they get firing. Looks like their whole lines are just crumbling under the Janissary weight. Like I say, uh, melee, melee in this game is so OP. <laughs> so <laughs> we should be okay here. There we go. Keep charging, men. Keep charging. There we go. We're just breaking them all. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. This should be a glorious victory for us. Here we go. Shooting, firing at them. How are the organ guns doing? Are they ready to fire again? No, they're not firing. Come on, boys. Get firing. Fire. 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 We need you. You are our glorious organ guns, my friends. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I th this cavalry unit is the luckiest cavalry unit alive. Only one of them died. <laughs> wow. And they're going to run into their own, uh, run into their own uh, stakes there. Fantastic. Looks like they're sending their regiment of horse to fight our Janissaries. That's a clever idea, honestly. You guys get back behind. There we go. And we've pretty much routed everyone else. Um, but there we go. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's see what happens now, though. Let's uh, get these cannons firing at this line infantry over here. Come on, boys. Let's go. They're absolutely just... What's, what's happening here? Who did they get shot by? Did they shoot themselves? How did you lose so many men? Oh well. Not too bad. Right, let's go. Let's come forward with those boys. Let's come forward with everyone else. Although, yeah, let's keep coming forward. There we go. They've got one guy behind a uh, a, a wall, but I don't think that's going to wor uh, worry us too much because we're just going to charge him. <laughs> the Janissaries are pretty strong. Let's go. 
Here we go. We've got line infantry and militia conscripts. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Glorious. Glorious. <gasps> oh, looks like it just missed our own troops there. Oof. That's pretty darn dangerous. Let's uh, keep firing at the general's bodyguards then. Yeah, these guys are down to six again. I wonder whether the uh, cannons are too close to each other and they've shot each other. <laughs> that would be quite funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, glorious though. I love this game. It is so fun. I just love seeing all of the uh, units out here fighting. It's really fun to see. Again, they've run into their own stakes, but I think they can, yeah, they can march over their own stakes, which is fine. Let's go. Keep firing at the general's bodyguard though. And the artillery, honestly though, they can just kind of fire at what they want to. Here we go. Let's get the Janissaries involved. Unless they're going to take a volley. Unless you want to take a volley from that distance, my friends. It looks like you do. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> Only killed two men, but that should be enough. Well, once these guys have routed, I don't think there's much we can really do um, about them. You guys fire at them. You guys fire at them too. You guys can't quite fire at them, but that's okay. Anyone else we need to worry about? I think that's everyone. Glorious. Well, a lovely little battle. And... The main thing is we just hardly lost any men. Uh, the garrison foot infantry are doing okay. Not too bad. Right, cannons. Uh, we've got a different target now. Fire at those boys. Same with the organ guns. Oh, God. The organ guns just fired at our own men. Oh, no. No. <laughs> organ guns, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this game, man. So fun. Let's go. Straight through here. Let's go, boys. Very nice indeed. Got our guys back here protecting them just in case. Uh, may Oh, actually, maybe... Did someone run past and then these guys shot them? Looks like they have used some ammo, actually. Oh, dear. That's that's a bad mistake. Not ideal. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got another unit coming back. Regiment of Horse. Just standard Regiment of Horse. Go and kill them. No problem. And that should be everyone. Glorious victory, my friends, once again. Very nice indeed. There we go. Fantastic. That's what you get, Venice. That is what you get. And there we go. We only lost 600 men. They lost 2,500. Absolutely glorious. Don't have any money to repair here, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. We should also probably send this army back to Istanbul to get ready as a new army. So we'll do that. We, these guys cannot actually reach these guys at the moment. I do want this uh, this fleet to drop us off in Venice if they don't have a fleet there. They might have a fleet there, though. That's, that's the one issue. So we'll have to see whether we can actually pick these guys up. Their fleet will definitely beat ours. So, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of an issue if we can't get rid of them. But what else do we have to do? I think we've got one more thing to do. Let's uh, let's go to Georgia. Glorious Georgia. And let's retake Georgia. So this, again, is inside a fort, though. So I still do want to kind of wait this one out. Especially if they want to come and engage us. Because I don't want to be fighting inside that fort. Um, looks like they don't really have many more armies, though. Um, and, of course, we'll have to take Baluchistan and Kabul, which will take forever. But uh, that's not too bad. We'll, we'll get there. They've got paved roads here, I believe. So that should be okay. So let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what happens. Well, hardly any notifications this time. But that's okay. Uh, let's send you across to this way. Oh, I really struggle to get... I need, I need to send you into Istanbul. Let's um, have a look. Rumelia, we've got some more. And Serbia, we've got the Mamluks. Who have 135 men each. Whew. That is insane. That is really good. We are losing a little bit of cash, though. Let's have a look at our army now, though. Yeah, we've got good cannons. We need... We're going to have four cavalry, too. So, once that's that, then we'll need five actual line infantry. Or seven, if we actually want decent line infantry, which, of course, we do. Let's also repair what we can in here. Potentially the magistrate. These guys, actually not that expensive to repair all of this. Good. Fantastic. And that army, let's just go and auto-resolve a killing of that army. They're probably going to run away, but okay. 
Nope, they're not. There we go. Nice little victory. Let's go and try for Venice then. We'll do that next turn. How far can you guys... You guys can actually ship all the way there. So we'll do that next turn. No problem with that at all. Uh, once those Mamluks are all trained, we'll send them back as well. We are starting to bleed some money now. So we do need to start expanding our wealth and our regions. Let's have a look at what we have so this region still has no taxes so let's yeah we can actually get taxes that's going to help out the income quite a bit we really do need to get into india as quick as possible but yeah this is this fort with this amount of troops is going to be a nightmare so i think for the uh, sake of suspense and uh, and fun let's just leave it for now <laughs> um but that's good let's have a look what else can we get anything in here that's going to bring us some more money i mean these governor's re uh, governor's residences are good that's only 255 in jerusalem really that is awful that is not good how much? 713. Damascus, though, 2,000. So that's probably a worthwhile investment. How about Anatolia? How much do you make? 2,300? Well, let's pop that in as well. Glorious, you're another cannon, though. Uh, you are to replace the demi cannons in here, but haven't we already replaced them? So organ guns, two organ guns and three 18 pounders seems like quite a lot. Let's get rid of at least the demi cannons uh, for now we should also probably get rid of these guys we don't need them at all uh, they are quite an uh, quite pointless really and then we'll start to just whittle down some of the troops that are, that are pretty useless in this army so maybe the israelis like we just don't need the israelis at all uh, so we're full of 18 pounders yeah again you are probably unnecessary for now that's going to really help out with our economy so let's keep that up. How are we looking at? We are Islam in Bosnia now. Still a lot of uh, a lot of other religions there. How about Moldavia? Still going up 1.6% a turn, which is quite good. So let's end the turn there, guys. Let's see where we get to. And they actually decided to sally out at Georgia. That is going to really help us out here. So that is fantastic. I'm glad we waited for that the canister shot is going to be pretty brutal they're only nine pounders these artillery pieces which is pretty small for the ottomans but um this should be pretty nice indeed so let's get going my friends well here we go guys let's see how they've set up pretty much all on the right hand side that's fine i'm gonna get you behind i'm gonna turn you off fire at will bash you bazook so you can stay behind too so let's get going and we're just gonna Ground and pound them, basically. Let them get close and kill them all, which should be quite fun. And just pound them with the artillery until they do get close. So, guys, we are a little bit of a way into the battle. And so far, they've done nothing. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know whether they're slightly bugged, maybe? But, uh, yeah, interesting. I mean, we are just firing at them for now. Um... I might send a cavalry unit forward just to try and maybe prod them into action. So, see, those ones are on the right hand flank. Let's go with that one into this uh, Orta over here. And let's see if it prods them into action. I don't it know. It looks like that did work, so that is good. Um, we actually have some of the Ottoman music, guys. Awesome. So, unfortunately, we can't use it yet because we don't have regular troops, but their dervishes get to play some, which is really cool to see. I love it. Really nice. Well, here we go, guys. The first foray into attacking us come the camel gunners. So it is just going to be uh, an absolute slaughtering ground in front of our guns here and in front of our lines. Look at that. Already taking out a lot of them. They're going to take out a few of our uh, artillerymen. But uh, yeah, that's not an issue. Let's turn back that on and let's go after the pikemen. And these guys, you can see, are just walking in front of our cannons pretty much. So they are getting shredded, which is just glorious. This unit in particular, down to uh, like 120 less men than what it started with. So should be an easy one to uh, break as well. Well, here we go, guys. Straight into the thick of it. Let's get that canister shot on. Let's start firing at these dervishes. Very nice indeed. Already broken them. Glorious. Let's fire at the Desert Warriors then. We have our own Desert Warriors firing 
at the Orta Fellahin over here. So I think these guys are going to get pretty shredded, I'm not going to lie. There we go. Not killing too many because, of course, these guys are not incredibly accurate. But uh, <laughs> doing a decent job of it. Doing a decent job of it. Let's get them. Let's also get the uh, Desert Warriors there. Glorious. Oh, look at that. That was an absolutely fantastic shot. Very nice indeed. No one can stand against canister shot, let's be honest. No one can stand against canister shot. We might have to come forward slightly to deal with these uh, hillmen over here. So let's go and do that. We've uh, slightly bent our lines a little bit just so that we can uh, get rid of some of these guys a little bit quicker. There we go. Look at that. Glorious. Are you guys going to fire? You. Oh, you've been firing that way. Well, fire at the camel nomads. That would be good. <laughs> Go, 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 go. And we are going to... Oh, my God. Look at that volley, boys. Look at that volley. That was glorious. Let's go. Straight in there. And we're also going to chase down some of these men. Basically, so they don't come back. Although, quite a lot of them are shattered. Let's, uh, let's keep on going. You guys now need to fire at the horsemen. Fire at the horsemen, men. Fire at the horsemen. Don't think we need any canister shot yet. You guys have got in on the action over here against the Afghan Hillman. Uh, well, let's uh, let's just get you reloaded, and then we're going to give them one volley to end them all. Let's go, boys. Into the Fellaheen Musketeers. There we go. Let's see if we can break these guys again. And you guys are going to run through all of the bodies uh, to make sure they keep routing. We're going to go and take some pot shots at them as well, which will be glorious. And you guys, there we go. Into the Desert Warriors there. Fantastic. Right then, you should be reloaded now. Let's come forward. Let's put you on fire at will. And let's watch this glorious, glorious volley that we're going to see here, guys. Should be pretty nice indeed. Let's see. Uh, come on. Really close. Really close. Hopefully, this is a glorious volley. We, uh, we will find out, I guess. So, let's see. Oh, they're moving slightly. Come on, man. Come on, man. Fire. Fire. Not as glorious as maybe we were expecting, but it was pretty good <laughs> nonetheless. These guys are just so inaccurate, so I am very much looking forward to when we can get some proper, proper line infantry. That will be amazing. Um, how are we doing over here? There we go. Still chasing them down. Keep going. These guys are only broken. A lot of them are shattered, though. What is this? Zamindari Swordsman. Where's our other... Uh, guy, there we go Go and kill them And we just literally have a couple of units left And that's it now guys Glorious, glorious, glorious Well, glorious victory Nonetheless, where's the rest of our Guys You are here So let's send you On a bit of a journey Where did their cannons go? Oh, they're there Let's go and kill the cannons. Let's go and kill the cannons, my friends. One of you can kill them. The rest of you can uh, chase down some of these units. Fantastic. They've not got much left now, guys. They've not got much left. Come on. We need to help out there. You guys, let's turn you around quickly. Turn around, man. Turn around. And let's see if we can fire at these dervishes over here. Look at the cannons coming in. The fire's coming in. Come on, boys. Quick, quick, quick. Let's fire Fire! Quick! Point blank volley, boys! Point blank! Let's go! There we go! Oh! <laughs> That's what we like to see. These desert infantry are something else. They are something else. One of them is routing now, though. Let's, uh... Well, not routing. They're shaken by the dervishes. So, let's just, uh... Calm down a little bit. Let's go forward with you, boys. And what else do we have? Glorious. Well, let's go kill those uh, tribesmen. There we go. You guys are coming through. Got that cavalry unit. I mean, you guys probably would be quicker, so get on with that. Glorious. There we go. The Desert Infantry, once again, being an absolute glorious heroes of our nation. We've got the Breach Makers over here. Which one is you? This is the Breach Makers. Of course, they were the ones to hold the line and do that serious, serious volley. They are actually a fantastic unit. I, I'm really enjoying using these guys. As irregular as they are, they wouldn't stand up to line infantry, but they, uh, 
You know, they're not terrible, and they have 16 melee attack, which is pretty darn good. Um, you know, 33 accuracy is not good, and reloading skill 18 is, is not great either. But their melee ability is pretty darn amazing. These guys should be firing now, though. Come on, boys. Let's go. One volley for them. Oh, look at that. Chase them away, boys. Chase them away. Here we go. Camels into the cannons. Nice. I think that's the last one that we have to face. So a glorious victory for us there, guys. And look at that, guys. We lost 400 men, killed 2,500. Pretty darn good, isn't it? Glorious, glorious fight. Let's go. And we got Physiocracy, which should help with building up our trade quite a bit if we can upgrade some of our ports. Very nice. We've got an ancillary for one of the leaders. Uh, and we got a few more troops in Rumelia, etc. Let's uh, auto-resolve this now. Lost more men in that fight, pretty much, than we did last time. Let's go and kill the rest of these boys. Uh, get rid of them. Glorious victory. Oh, no, you're not going to do that, are you? Come on. <laughs> it's so far. Come on, please. Corporal of the Gold Braid. That's a great... And he's a brave soldier, so two morale for our men. That's absolutely glorious. Let's make sure we exempt tax here, too. Um, do we have any guys in there? No, we don't. We do have actual roads there. Let's upgrade that for now. Let's also make sure that we retrain these guys. That's 5,000 gold for that. That's quite a lot. And let's move on. So these commercial ports. No, we need division of labor for the commercial ports. So we've taken this one back. What do we want to go with this? I think, like, potentially getting the measuring tools. It's going to take a long time. Or the basic steam pump, I guess. But uh, Or maybe, uh, yeah, improved animal husbandry will be fine. We can upgrade all our farms then from that. Glorious. Right, we've got some Mamluks now. Fantastic. Let's get going with the Mamluks into the capital. And I think, honestly, let's get rid of these Israelis. I know a couple of them, they have a little bit of experience. But I think we're going to ha actually have proper line infantry in this army. Again, we probably don't need those Bashi Bazooks. We've already got two units there, so let's go with that. Let's also bring this general back across, because he's going to be the general for this army. Let's bring this navy around here. Uh, get there. Go on, boys. Let's go. And can we get on the ships? We can. And we can sail all the way this way. We're going to have to be careful, though. There might be some Venetian ships. So, hmm, there is. there's a Venetian army, not Venetian ships. Hmm. Apparently, we can't get off the ships. Come on, army. We can't get off. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to wait a turn then. That's a little bit scary because... Oh, I don't know. It's it's quite scary. I think they'll be able to get all the way there. They will. We'll just have to retreat if they do come near us because that's, <laughs> that's quite scary, my friends, isn't it? That is quite scary. Well, let's um, end the turn here anyway and let's see what happens. And Austria wants a trade agreement. I think we'll accept it for now. Of course, we're going to go back to war with them at some point once we've got that new army up and running. But for now, a trade agreement is fine. Let's go for that. And Venice now wants a peace treaty. Of course, we're going to refuse that. And we did just research explosive shells as well, which is glorious. We've also built the drill school. So we're going to switch across a bit of this. Fire by rank is absolutely fantastic. But if we can get socket bayonet... That will be amazing. Also, Cadenced Marching 2. So we're going to switch across from Animal Husbandry. Ooh, we could also get European Doctrine, though. 35 turns. Bro, how long was it for you? 23 turns. Well, we better get started with that early rather than later. <laughs> that's glorious. We also got the drill schools everywhere. So that's now going to allow us to get the Grenadiers, isn't it? The Janissary Grenadiers and the Janissary Musketeers, who are elite infantry. And we can get as many of these as we want. I want both, actually. But I'm going to pop in four to start with. 
Uh, Bavaria has been destroyed. You guys join up in here. Same as you. And then we'll see how many we've got. So, four... We're going to get five musketeers and two grenadiers. How we might even... I don't think we need four janissary, like, uh, melee infantry. We could do with only two, really. Um... I did recruit them, though. That is a bit of a waste of money, isn't it, really? But no point wasting more money when you get to this point. So, yeah. I think we'll leave them be for now. We'll keep them. Oh, and apparently we managed to get off the ships. Somehow. I don't know how. We did. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Let's get back in the port. Uh, we may need to bring you back to tra transfer them back once we've taken Venice. But I think, honestly, the next target might be Rome, which might annoy a few Catholic nations, let's be honest. But it's okay. Uh, we don't really care, do we? We are the Ottomans, after all. Let's uh, auto-resolve that. We lost 227 men there. Wow. That's insane. Let's also re... Ooh, another 5,000. No, that's going to be slightly wrong. How long is it going to take us to get to Persia? Wow, four turns. Bro. Bro, come on. <laughs> um, in terms of our economy, we haven't really built anything for a while. So, with the rest of our money, let's pop in another one of these buildings. Athens makes 1,900. So, let's pop that in. Let's also check where we are exempting tax. We're not exempting tax in Athens. Good. What about Georgia? Can we stop exempting tax? No, we actually have to keep that exemption going. Um, and this is quite a good little recruitment hub as well. Let's just recruit maybe a, a garrison troop. Like maybe two of those mobs because they don't cost a lot of money. Uh, and we can actually go up to Great Arsenal now as well. So next turn we want to make sure that we build that. So, let's end the turn one more time, guys, and let's see where we get to. So, a riot in Georgia, unfortunately. It's only minus two, though, now, which is not too bad. I mean, if we didn't have this building, we would be okay. So, I am considering... Let's let's just de delete the building. There's, there's actually no real point of it. Um, and let's just pop in a load of units this turn. That should keep them happy for now. And then hopefully by next turn, they will be happy. Can we maybe improve that infrastructure? We can. And then the rest of our money is going to go on Janissaries. So let's take those two. I should have done these guys first. Why did I not do them first? That was a bit dumb, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but that's okay. It's, it's not a problem. We just have to wait one extra turn. Uh, but this is going to be an absolutely glorious army. And we're going to use it against Austria, of course. You guys can now attack there. We're going to continue the siege. That is a lot of artillery you have there, my friends. And you've got a, uh, a fort, so probably worth waiting. I mean, our artillery is not so good, and we're all pretty damaged. Have we got enough money? No, we've got enough money to retrain a few of the boys, not all of them. How about over here? Yeah, we've moved. Okay, glorious. Well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. So... Uh, we've not really expanded in this episode. We've just been defending our borders. But I do feel a lot more secure now. Obviously, the war with the Austrians is over. We've got a brand new army on the way to take out Austria themselves, which will be glorious. What is that? That's France. So, Austria pretty much is only this area, but it's quite a rich area, really, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of money. 7,000 in Vienna. Wow. Yes, we definitely want to take Vienna then. So I don't think that's going to be a problem fighting Austria, but uh, especially with the new army. But uh, let's see how we do anyway, guys. And thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I will see you all again on the next video.